Hi guys, Warno2010 here for Zombusters, and welcome to part 4 of Mine and Supernat's first Shangri-La attempt. Um, and this, well, I'll remind you again, was on the first day it came out, so that's why we're really confused about where everything is, and just hope you've been enjoying this series so far, and still some parts to go so you can look forward to that stuff. Um, this is my screen we are watching with my dual wield M1911s, pack a punch to become Mustang and Sally, which I'm basically using just to get myself out of corners. Um, as you can see, the four perks I've got after downing um, Juggernaut, PhD Flopper, Speed Cola, Quick Revive, they're probably the usual four I get. If the player I'm playing with is a real expert and is unlikely to down at all, I get stamina up. But the fact I was playing with Supernat and other parts, he downed quite often, um, I got Quick Revive. Probably the wisest thing to do. Right, a few update things. As you can see there, the monkeys didn't even try and take those power-up drops, so that's confusing. Super nuts down. Um, so, uh, what was I going to say? Right, a few update things. Um, first of all, I've become a pro at um, getting the perks from the monkeys when they like steal your power-ups. I can now get like a random perk bottle from it. Um, which I think is awesome, because I haven't quite got to 7 yet, I've got to 6 perks once, haven't got to 7, um, but obviously that's just my next step. Um, so that's awesome, basically the way you do it is you have to have a max ammo drop, and then you have to like wait for the um, power up to like interchange, because they like move around as you know, um, and they like go in the same order every time. If, like, as you can see, insta-kill Carpenter, double points, nuke. Um, the next time round it would have been insta-kill Carpenter, double points, nuke. It's like the same way round. So you wait for the perk bottle the first time, see when it's about to go, uh, see when it's coming through, and then um, when it's about to appear, you, like, shoot at the power-up that is, like, before it, because there is no way you can see the perk bottle and then shoot at it. You don't have enough time. So... That's, like, first thing. I've done that so many times now. I've done it in round two and I got Deadshot Daiquiri, which was amazing. I don't really, didn't really want Deadshot Daiquiri. Um, right, I also, if you look at the leaderboards, if you're on my friends list, um, me and one of our subscribers, Sarah Finn, got to round 31. Um, we could have carried on, and if you ask him, he'll say that as well. We were downing, like every three rounds one of us was downing but we both had monkey bombs and we could easily save each other but um basically we just had to stop it had been hours and well i think i had to go it was my fault i'll put my hand up there but we got to round 31 um which was like 1700 which isn't great but i think if we could have gone further i think i might try an actual solo when i get the capture card back i'll try and actually get quite far in this I've got to 28 on solo, that's my current best, um, and that I had the JGB215 as well as the Packer Punched M1911, so I was basically just getting out of trouble with everything, of getting out of trouble every time. Um, I think I'm just showing Supernat where the stakeout is. So, the basic principle about this map is that you have to find one of the tactics, and I think we've found a couple now. As you can see here, I'm doing a circle around this rock, because you can actually sprint in the water on this map, unlike Call of the Dead, but you can't sprint as fast as you would be. So it's a little bit different, but it's like barely no... Um, but the main tactic that I've found, which I did with Seraphim, Super Nuts Down again, um, the main tactic I found that I did with Seraphim was... Um, the MPL is like by the temple for the Easter egg. Um, and you can run around that Easter egg, that uh, temple thing. And like, just if you've got the Pack Punch pistol or the JGB, or even a ray gun with PhD flopper, you can like get out of corners every time. And that was working pretty well. The AK 74U room is surprisingly decent. Um, but I think the. He's <laughs> down again. I think the main principle is um, make sure you get either the ray gun, the shrink gun, the JGB215, 
all Pack a Punch Demon 911s because you're gonna need them a lot. As you can see, I just swapped a mine there because I knew I was gonna get hit quite a few times very soon. And <laughs> I kind of mess up here as well. So, um, basically, this map, I will. I can't really put out so I don't have the capture card and I can't really. I haven't really got to like 40. If I get to 40, it'll probably be time for me to make a strategy. But so far I've saved Supernat every time, as you've seen. I always try that with my teammates. Um, all my teammates like say, oh, you're too difficult to save. I kind of don't believe in that. I'm like, well, if you think I'm too difficult to save, then you're clearly not good at this game. So that um, if he's like in the most difficult position possible, I'll make sure I hold all the zombies up and then I'll run for him. Or if I get, if he gets in a corner and I'm in the corner with him and I'm like I have to shoot to stay out, stay alive, I will try and save him. As like, I I find I just find it quite silly sometimes because it's like the opposite of what my teammates do to me. I down once and it's game over. That's just unfortunate pretty much every time. But it happens, I guess. Um, it's becoming better and better recently because everybody's getting better at zombies, obviously. But um, yeah, it's, this match. Um, the things that I don't like about it are the size of it. I could appreciate a bit bigger. As in, I don't mind that the, the corridors are thin. Like, I don't mind that there's not a lot of room to go through. The thing I don't like is that they could have like added extra rooms in because it's quite small. In the respect that if I had stamina, stamina, I could probably run the whole map in about a minute. Call of the Dead, you couldn't do that. So if it was the size of Call of the Dead, just not the width of the corridors of Call of the Dead, I'd like it. Um, another thing I don't like is those bamboo spikes <laughs> I'm about to jump over. They almost kill me every time. Yep, another max ammo successfully stolen from the monkeys. Um, they're one thing I do like, the monkeys. They're actually really, really helpful. Um, another thing I don't like is the fact that there's only one wonder weapon. But, to be fair, Call of the Dead was an exception to that because there isn't really two one ball anywhere. Um, uh, anything else I don't like? I think that's it, really. The MP40 isn't on the wall, which is a shame because I always love using that gun. Um, the perks we're moving around are fine. That's a good feature, I think. So, my official review of this map is most things about it are good. Uh, in, in the last video, Supernat said this is the best map that Treyarch have brought out um, in the DLCs, without a doubt. I disagree completely. Um, <laughs> Ascension was phenomenal when it first came out. Loved it. Played it like every day, I think. Um, but now the other ones have come out, it's like slipped down the rankings. But I still think Call of the Dead is the best map because it's so like real because I know it's completely unreal because it's a zombies game but the um, atmosphere is brilliant and the fact that they're playing it and the fact that there's a boss that you have to deal with that's the only thing Supernat hates about Call of the Dead is George Romero because he's just like everywhere all the time but I think it makes it challenging and I don't think Call of the Dead's too easy people have said it is I think Ascension's too easy but, um, on the whole, that's probably my favourite map call of the dead. And I, I don't know about saying that, because I loved all the zombie zombie maps, and still do. But it's, it's up there, definitely, call of the dead. But I wouldn't say this is the best map without a doubt. It might be the best map, but it's not by a long, long way. As Supernat implied. But I'll stop ranting on about that now. Um, hope you've been enjoying the footage that we've been putting out, and I <laughs> hope you keep watching to see how far we got. Um, so please like like this video and subscribe to us if you haven't already, because that would be awesome, and we'll bring you more zombie stuff everywhere. Um, so thanks for watching everyone, and hopefully see you on the next part with Supernats commentary back again. Goodbye.